Hello everyone, my name is Luis Antonio de Souza Jr. I am a PhD student uh, from uh, Federal University of São Carlos in Brazil. And I have a collaboration with OTH Regensburg in Germany. And I'm here uh, to kindly present you my research uh, with a title, Fine Tuning Generative Adversarial Networks Using Metaheuristics, a case study on varied esophagus identification. So let's start it. Here we have a brief agenda with the subjects I'm going to talk about. So the introduction. Uh, the first thing to be introduced is the varied esophagus disease. It is a gastrointestinal uh, reflux complication that may progress and evolve into es uh, esophageal adenocarcinoma or basically cancer. And uh, the evaluation of early cancerous tissue by experts is a hard task to be accomplished because these, these tissues are pretty close to the various esophagus ones. So it's hard to, uh, to uh, differentiate this kind of, of disease in various esophagus diagnosed samples. So uh, to help such a task, some computer aided systems uh, have been proposed lately uh, to improve the correct definition bringing precision and to make this task of annotation of early cancer in varied esophagus samples uh, less human dependent one. And uh, these can be performed by the extraction of handcrafted features that are based on uh, human knowledge and by the extraction of deeply learnable features uh, that are based on deep learning techniques. Uh, a, a usual drawback related to medical data pr processing is the lack of data. It's really hard to find public data sets and huge data sets to evaluate our systems. So to cope with this, to cope with this drawback of limited amount of data, generative adversarial networks or GANs uh, have been proposed for this uh, data augmentation. Uh, the primary idea is to train two inner CNNs, a generator and a discriminator, uh, simultaneously uh, fine tuning its parameters uh, so we can generate convincing high quality synthetic samples. But we still have a drawback related to GAN, uh, the proper selection of its hyperparameters. This is very important because uh, the proper model uh, generalization is related to the hyperparameters we selected before. Uh, so this is a really important drawback to be considered. And we propose a solution for it to apply metaheuristic optimization techniques that are some nature inspired uh, techniques to simulate some searching behavior you can find in the nature to this synthetic image generation. So the contributions we are uh, bringing with our research are two, mainly two, uh, to introduce the use of metaheuristic optimization algorithms such as uh, backtracking search algorithm, the brainstorm optimization, the Firely algorithm, and so on. Uh, so we, we, we aim to introduce these techniques in the context of GAN hyperparameter optimization. We, we want to use these techniques uh, to provide the best GAN hyperparameter for further providing uh, synthetic samples, aiming to provide uh, data augmentation and further uh, classification of various esophagus and adenocarcinoma samples. So this is the second, the second uh, contribution to investigate if this uh, hyperparameter optimized GAN uh, can generate high quality synthetic samples for further assisting the identification of various esophagus and adenocarcinoma. So the materials and methods, we use two uh, data sets. The first one uh, provided by the Mikai's End of His Challenge 2015. This data set is uh, composed of uh, 50 various esophagus samples and 50 adenocarcinoma samples. And the second data set was provided by our partners from the Augsburg University Hospital. This data set is composed of 76 samples, 42 uh, presenting only various esophagus and 34 presenting adenocarcinoma. Here you can find the proposed, proposed method. This is basically the uh, GAN pipeline, but with some differences. The first one, we have the metaheuristic agents and we have a different loss function. Uh, so with different possible solutions, starting solutions, also known as agents, 
uh, we try to find we try to find uh, uh, we try to find the best set of hyperparameters that will uh, minimize our final loss function. And this loss function is based on degenerator loss and discriminator loss. Uh, the perfect scenario should be when we have the lowest loss function as possible. Uh, and this means we have very, very similar uh, or even uh, equal uh, training set distribution and uh, generated set distribution. So we, we aim to have these two distributions so close that discriminator cannot properly label the synthetic distribution. The discriminator cannot properly say, no, this, uh, this set of samples uh, belongs to the artificial set of samples. This is the main goal. So the, the, in the perfect scenario, our loss function should be zero. That's why we try to minimize the loss function. And with different agents, we have different starting solutions. And for each starting solution, we will try to find the best hyperparameters in a range of parameters we propose, okay? These are the hyperparameters we try to, to uh, optimize. So we have the learning rate, the optimizer decay control of atom, and generator and discriminator feature map depths. Finally, the results. Uh, we conducted several uh, uh, sets of experiments. So uh, we tried to, to classify samples without augmentation. We have a standard augmentation in which we introduced zooming and rotation. So samples zoomed and rotated to the data sets. And we tried two uh, different scenarios for adding a set of GAN samples in the data augmentation. Uh, in the end, we always uh, had the best results using the GAN data augmentation. And this shows uh, how high quality and trustworthy uh, GAN can bring, how, how uh, trustworthy and high quality samples GAN can provide for us. Uh, if we have always the best results using GAN samples, we can understand this. And you, you will see uh, in, the, in the following slides how, how similar the, the GAN samples can be compared to the original set of samples. Also, uh, the, the backtracking search algorithm and the Firely algorithm always presented the best results uh, in the searching for the best hyperparameters of GAN. So uh, this suggests that these techniques are pretty useful for our case of study, uh, generating uh, Barrett's esophagus and adenocarcinoma samples. Uh, here you can see uh, some, some synthetic samples and some original samples, first row original samples, sec second row uh, synthetic samples. Here you can see how similar, how trustworthy and how high quality outcome we can have with, uh, with GAN, uh, uh, GAN technique applied to our, uh, to our problem, to our context. Finally, the discussion. So the GAN hyperparameter fine tuning showed promising uh, results of classification and data augmentation. We could enhance and outperform the classification rates of the original and st standard augmented data sets. And this is pretty useful for us. We were very satisfied with the, the, the results. And uh, concerning the meta heuristics, the Firely algorithm and the backtracking search algorithm provided the best results in the definition of the hyperparameters. This suggests us, suggests us as I told you before, that uh, for our context of evaluating Barrett's esophagus and adenocarcinoma samples, uh, these two techniques can be very, very useful and we can uh, provide further experiments using it using them for uh, continue uh, generating new uh, synthetic samples. And we can even try to extend it for different contexts of cancer evaluation and uh, uh, some hyperparameters for different networks, uh, for different cancer contexts. Uh, we would like to thank the financing foundations. So COPS Alexander von Humboldt, uh, and CNPQ from Brazil and FAPESP from Brazil as well. Finally, the references we had for this presentation and I would like to thank you all. Thank you very much.